Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day four of the September Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Come and uh, hang out and discuss problems with other people, you know, uh, during the entire, um, the entire month of September. I don't know why. I'm, it's, I'm a little, it's a little late. It's, I'm a little bit tired. So anyway, let's get this farm started. And today's farm is some of distance in tree. So yeah, feel free to kind of skip ahead, fast forward, watch at a faster speed, because uh, I am solving these live and everything is, you know, what you see is what what you would see me in uh, in a, that kind of situation. Anyway, okay, so there, there's an undirected connected tree from n nodes so really from zero to n minus one. You're given n and the array of edges. Where okay, so you have some edges. In return of way n sub length n, where n sub i is the sum of the distance between i've node and the tree and all other nodes. Huh. Take a look. So basically, you return 8 for, what's 8? Eight? 8 is 0 to 1. Hmm. Okay, so that's 8 and so forth. Okay. Hmm. So my immediate thought is, you know, um, what is the constraint on this problem? Because sometimes, one thing that I would say is that don't overthink things. Um, just do what is the easiest thing to do. Um, and in this case, however, n is less than 30, or I just almost said 34,000, 3 times 10 to the 4th, or 30,000, um, which is, you know, if you're going to try n squared, it's going to be too slow, right? So then the question is, how do you do this? Dong dong dong. Hmm. Um, and ideally, you know, I, I say this a lot, and this is just, um, you know, like a mental or like a, a internal rather thing that I have just from experience, uh, which is that what you in a tree problem, most of the time you want something that's O of n, uh, if it's not n square. Um, and log n doesn't come up that often. I know that people always bring up binary lifting and stuff like that, but that's like a very high power um, technique that doesn't come up that much. Maybe more now though t than when I was competing hardcore, so maybe I'm wrong about that. But that said, um, on the code level, I don't usually think about that, so I'm thinking about some linear time algorithm. Uh, okay. And let's see. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just taking a quick look to see if they give you the root. Um, I guess they don't give you the root, so it doesn't really matter which one is the root because um, it's the same idea. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> let's see. So, hmm. So, I mean, I mean, I have some ideas in my head, but I'm trying to figure out how to articulate them. But the idea is that, okay, you calculate one of them. Or, um, so there are a couple of ideas that I'm playing around with. One is that you calculate for one of them, and then there's some way of um, kind of like a sweep line or something like that. But as you kind of go through one note by one note, you can change um, the sum of the numbers, right? Um and actually, I think that may be, or something like that could be it. Um, basically, for example, I think this is my idea, is um, we can bring, up, bring our plain bush real quick, because this is a tree thing anyway. So usually I try to do ASCII art, but for tree things and graph things, I, eh, maybe that's just impossible. Okay, let's choose a easier to look at color. So basically, you have something like, okay, let, I'm just going to reproduce the thing here. Um, and... And of course, this is not set quite in stone yet. Um, this is still an off my head idea, so you know, feel free to uh, you know experiment at home. But my idea is that okay, we get the answer for for this top node, right? Mm, or maybe not even. It doesn't have to be the top node, but but let's say we get the answer for this node, right? Um, the only thing, so this is a tree, but it's really a graph that doesn't have any cycles, um, which I know describes a tree, but 
but it changes how you visualize things because the edges goes every which way, meaning that there is less of a um, less of a uh, uh, um, like there's they're less dependent on the fact that it's uh, you know parent and child and and this is un, um, you know going in both direction undirected and so forth, right? So let's say we we have this this one, right? Um, so for each one, I think we just calculate no, the number of nodes on that thing. For example, here we we say okay, there's one one node here, right? Okay, and then here we we go. Oh, sorry, that's that's not true at all. Whoops. Uh, there's one edge, but how many nodes are there? One, two, three, four, five. Right. So we there's five nodes here. Um. And then let's say we do this one. There's clearly one here and four here. Um, and then this one, you can kind of see that it's just one, 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 one. Um, okay. That's just to kind of start us off the framework of, of how to think about it. And then the, the second is that as you move from node to node, now you can combine these things in an interesting way, right? Because, for example, which uh, which way is easier? I'm trying to think about which one is the best way to explain. But let's just go from here, right? Oops. Uh, let's just say we have this one. What does that mean? Uh, let, you know, let's just say we have the number of total distances, right? So what's the total distance here? You have one, 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 and then two. So this is seven. Something like that. Let me double check. I, I, I must tell by math. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six, right? So let's say the answer is six here. Uh, let's actually take a look to see if this is six. Oh, it is actually. So, okay. I'm just taking a look at the input because I'm using the input case. Um, so let's say there's six there, right? And then now when you go up this, this node, what does that mean? That means that every one of the other edges... Uh, or every one of the nodes that you're not going down gets plus one. So this means that now all the nodes on... Oh, I, I lied. So, oh, whew. I, I messed up again on the example. Sorry, friends. Give me a second. I wrote one here, but this is two. Oh, yeah, this is two for the number of nodes that are in that direction, right? Sorry again. Uh, okay, let's, let's go back now then. Okay, let's say there's six, and then you go here, right? What does that mean? That means that the three nodes here that that is one more distance away than it used to be. So that means that this is let's just say this was six. This six is just this six plus three, right? And then here we know that two nodes are closer than it used to be, right? Because um, yeah, because we moved that way. There's two nodes, and it, it used to be minus two. And then now. We add one more because the node this this node is one more farther away. So that means that six plus three minus two plus one. So that's just equal to eight, right? So now that means that this node is eight. Just to double check if this is right. Yep. Okay. And then now uh, we go this way. Um, what does that mean? That means that there, there is, let me use another color real quick. That means that there's four nodes, you know, that got farther away. Okay, so we start at eight. Four nodes got farther away. One node got closer. And then plus one for the node that, you know, for this node that got farther away. So that means that this is equal to 12. Right? So in this way... In this way, I think that's all you need to do. Um, yeah. And you can do this in two paths, I think. So, yeah. So that's going to be the idea behind this problem. Uh, let me now think about how to code it. Okay. I mean, the, the first part, the pre-processing, the first step should be okay. Because that's just counting the number of nodes in each, um, each thingy. Um... And you can do that on... Hmm, what's the easiest way to do that, actually? Yeah, maybe I, I said it was too easy too quickly. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
because basically I'm trying to think about what is the clever way to do it in one depth of search, right? Um, how can we do it in one depth of search? Or do we need to get a leaf to do it? We can also maybe get a leaf to do it. And then that maybe that's easier. I don't know if that's true though. Uh, how do we get the initial counts of the sum of all the nodes and all the leaves? Hmm. And because the tricky part is that you can do it from one, you know, one node, but then now you have to kind of back log it from all the directions. And I don't know if that's quite easy per se, uh, off my head anyway, right? Hmm. Okay. Let, let's give it a try though. Uh, I like my N capitalized, but that's just me because of I don't know, common things. Uh, yes, I just I don't even know that we need to do this. Let's just let's call this uh ye, and then now we have edges as you go to list, and enough for you we in edges. Uh, oops, ye, we that append we basically I'm just building it out in a, an adjacency list. Um, okay, and then now we want a depth for such one. Okay, I mean, so that would construct one of them. Okay, how do we construct the other one? Because basically, the idea uh, what I'm thinking a little bit is okay, you start a node, you get you know, you get all everything on the left, you get everything on the right, right? Mm, I guess that's fine actually. I thought it would be harder, but but I think you can just eh. I mean it's yucky and that's why I don't like to do it, but you can actually just dynamic programming is the answer. Or memorization maybe if you do it that first search. The idea is that there are only n or sorry, yeah well it's a tree, so th there's only n number of edges, right? Uh, or n minus one number of edges, but all of n edges. So that means that there are only two to the n you store it on number of edges on how many nodes is on yeah on the other side of that edge so that should be okay so so we should be okay here let's let's try that but let, let's be really clear about how to construct this okay so let's let's say we have two functions then and then we'll cache the other one okay that sounds reasonable so basically now Okay, I'm just trying to think about what's the best way to because I I've I talk about this about tree problems in the past where it's very really easy for to make a mistake to make it n square in in tree problems um, if you're not careful. So this is why I'm trying to be you know think about it very deliberately and a little bit slowly to make sure that I you know there aren't any weird cases where I make a mistake and it becomes n square but I feel like I'm okay so let, let's let's go here let's let's do um mm, eh, naming things is hard so let's just say let's just call parse for now or process um and then we have a node which is an index uh, let's just call it an index then. Okay, fine. So basically, process the edge values of this node. Edge. Uh, what, what, what would I call it? Um, the number of nodes um, related to an edge. And what I mean by that is that it, if you have if you have a node, it's out going to another edge. You, you count the number of nodes in that edge, right? Or uh, outside that edge. So, okay. So then here, it should be straightforward. And we also want to cache one more thing, which is the total number of nodes. Um, oh. oh, actually, I guess that's just dumb because the total number of nodes... Mm, maybe we don't... Maybe we need this. Maybe we don't. We'll, we'll come back to it. Um... Yeah, okay. 
So now you go for V in edges of index. Basically, we want to um, we want to say hmm, uh, get uh, get node edges, get edges edges on node on uh, on edge. Eh. Naming things is really hard, isn't it? Um, and then we process it, this. We write it this way so that we have a direction to it. Um, yeah, I think maybe this is okay. Maybe this is good enough. Uh, that's not true because this would this would go an infinite loop. But um, but we can set that just by setting the parent. And then, if we is uh, if it's not, you go to parent. Okay. So then now we always go down in this case. Um, okay. And then here we have a memorized function. Um, yeah. Okay. So u to v. So an edge going from u to v, uh, how how many nodes are on on the the v side, right? Okay, and then here <clears throat> it is just for for. Uh, for x in edges of v so let's just say count is equal to one for the node that we're processing now for edges going to edges to from 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 u to v the, the edges and then now this is just equal to count get nodes on edges from v to x if x is not equal to u right and then we can return count Note that we don't care about count here because we just want to make sure that we process all the edges and all the things. Okay. Um, okay, so we have to, now we have the entire tree of those things that we talked about. So now how do we get the answer, right? Hmm. So how do we, well, we want to start it off. I guess in this case, it, it's easier to start off on an edge. Oh, sorry, on a, on a, on a leaf. Is that fine? Is it easier on a leaf? Okay, let's just find a leaf then. Um, I, maybe there's a, a more general non-leafy way to do it, but I am a little bit lazy right now, so... Um, and of course, this will always have to have a leaf because otherwise there's a circle, right? So, yeah. So this will always have to be true where we just get the next... Uh, Basically, if it only has one edge going out, we just take the first one of that. I think this is right. right. I always forget the syntax about the, the... We can always just cast into it and get the first element, but I think this should be okay. It's one a leaf? Okay, one is a leaf. Okay, then that's fine. Um, okay. So then now, now that we have all this, we... We now, okay. We get the starting, uh, this is a little, I feel like this is a little bit awkward, but let's do it anyway. Um, so one thing that, you know, I would always say is that, you know, um, 
you can always start with a dubious solution and then work toward a better solution. Um, but, you know, uh, which is better than nothing. Sometimes you just have to grind. Sometimes things look stupid the first time you write it. And then, you know, you write it again, looks a little better. So maybe I'll just have to learn from this. Okay. What did I say I was going to do? Okay, let's just get the, the total distance. Um, so I think sometimes I, I spend too much time trying to think about the best solution, maybe, which depending on the situation makes sense. But, but for these kind of problems, it doesn't really, it's not necessary. So the current total... Mm, yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, naming things is so hard. I've been naming it so hard. Right. Uh, process total, maybe. Uh, let's just say index again. So then now this is just... So then... Eh, I guess I don't do this like this. I can just do it recursively. Uh, so process. Uh, okay, so get total distance, say, uh, from, from this index, and then the total distance from this index. And you can, it, this is actually the same as it would be the naive and square way, except for you iterate it for everything, which is that you start a total, total, um, and then. Uh, actually, I guess you get the parent, same thing there, but we'll kick it off with a negative one because there's no parent. Uh, if we is not got a parent, then we get total distance from from index to v. And what is the idea here? Um, the idea is that... Um, How do I okay? So it's one away, then you do one. Is this is this plus one? Is that right? No, but basically, okay, this note and then the number of notes over there, right? So it's just this. Okay, recursively. What, what what is happening recursively? It is giving me the total distance up from the pre or the total distance of all the subtrees, not including this edge. Um, okay, let me let me go backwards. What is the base case? Um, the base case is that it is one away. Okay, fine. Um, man, maybe even this part I'm a little bit bad on. Uh, okay, and then now because of it, that go one. Okay, that's one distance plus that plus the n number of nodes. Okay, so it is the number of nodes. Hmm. Uh, this is. I just want to make sure I'm right. That's what I'm thinking about it a little bit on how to write this in a good way. Uh, okay, so then now this. So now you have four nodes. So then is this plus four? Okay, I guess so. This feels a little bit awkward to write. Uh, hmm. I guess I had it right the first time, but it just feels a little bit weird. Edges from index to read, right? Because this is the number of nodes that are there, and that, that means that all of them got increased by one. So you know, this looks very awkward, though, but I think this is right. Also, I forgot to cache this. Um, I know that I usually go over uh, how to do memorization. The idea that, uh, you know, um, I'm going to hand wave this a little bit, but basically because there are only over n possible inputs, um, you know, you can maybe just write something like uh, look up as you go. Uh, if you we is in lookup, so I'm gonna skip uh, explaining this for, uh, um, a little bit. This is kind of a hard problem as is, um, at least for me. So, so 
so yeah so that's basically all you need for memorization you put in a lookup table you return it and then you set this thing and of course you just look up is equal to this so this is all you need to do this for hashing um, but the key thing to note is that there are only O of n possibility uh, possible inputs right because they're only O of n number of edges um, n minus one number of edges and then you double it from both directions so that's why you know this looks funky um, it only it should be linear time in total um, okay and space so that's why I'm not worried about it um, okay I mean I guess now we can um, now we could okay so this if we ran this for every number it would be n square but for for testing purposes we can do that so let, let's let's uh, let's do that just because I'm I'm not a hundred percent clear about this uh, I'm not a hundred percent convinced that this is correct so that's why um, I want to take a quick look. Um, in theory, this code would be enough to finish, but it'll be n square. Um, okay, so apparently I did not. Oh. No, this is right. No, this is wrong. This is, I got it backwards. Whoops. But this part, I get it. I got it right. Okay, that's fine. That's actually not a big deal, relatively. Uh, so I'm just typing up the other ones as well. Though I did get a whatever. Uh, count no on edges. Oh, whoops. I had a typo on the lookup. Hmm. No, oh, because this is... Okay, I mean, that's fair. Hmm. Okay, let's just ignore that then. I think that's the only part where this is whatever, so... Hmm. Because otherwise, it's, that, that condition is always true. Um, okay. We'll say what? Oh, whoops. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, this is actually correct. Uh, and this, like I said, this is going to be brute force. Um, so this is n square. So this is not good. But I just wanted to uh, use it to verify my results um, to get it for one um, for one case, right? Um, because this is what we're going to build off. As we said, we do have to leave here. So then now we can start there, right? Um, let's just say... Do, 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 answer of leaf is equal to get total distance of uh, leaf. And I spell leaf well. Uh, minus one, right? So we have here. And then now what we have to do is do that thing that we talked about where every time we shift we do an addition and a subtraction thing um yeah let's do that so then now um get total distance delta i don't know hmm, how do we f say this right And we can actually use this recursively on a, but uh, in a backtracking kind of way. Um, it is. Uh, yeah, let's do that. But but let's think about how to get it quickly. Uh, okay. So we can start by saying the current this total distance is this thing. Uh, answer sub oops sub leaf right, and then now what? Now okay, answer of index is equal to current, 
and then uh, because we know the answer so then now we do the same I, I may be a little bit off here so don't take my word for it quite yet um, but again we're going to do the same thing that we had before um, yeah we don't go up to the parent and then now okay what happens when we go down Mm. And actually, you you don't even need this to be a leaf. You can actually just take any any number as long as you do it. I think, but it just makes it easier for me mentally. Um, okay, so what happens when you go down an edge? When you go down an edge, um, let's see. Uh, so you have the current. We add. We add all the, well, first we subtract all the nodes that are uh, getting, um, we subtract everything that's getting closer. So if we're going toward V, then um, everything that's going closer, we remove. So this is this thing. Um, so this is going from index to V. And then now we add some everything that is uh, getting farther. And everything that's getting farther is all the other edges on V, right? And the num and you know that in that case, um, because there are n nodes to total, so if there are number of, if there are x nodes in here, so if this is equal to x, then the number of nodes on the other side is just and minus x minus one. Yeah, okay, I think I buy that. Let, let's put it here. Uh, x is equal to this thing. Uh, so then now we minus x, and then we add the distance is the stuff that's getting farther and as far as everyone on the other side. Um, and you can actually, I was gonna write n minus x minus one as we said, but then we also have to add one more for for the node getting moved off. So I think you can actually it's end up that, you know, some of these gets canceled out, but I'll leave it like this because it's more sensible to me. But uh, but basically, I'll, I'll add some context here. Um, this is nodes that got closer. Nodes that got farther away, which is and minus x minus 1 and then um, node index that also got f farther further away um, yeah okay so this is good and then now we do a recursion so get total distance delta of um, v and parent is now this and then that's pretty much it um, then now well, we have to reset it so uh, and then we, we could set that actually we can just reset this by setting current is equal to and sub index um, and I think that should be good I was going to set the variable before we change this but before we change this it's always going to be this so that's why I set it like that um, is this good? Eh, I don't know to be honest but but uh, let's let's that's that's just run it. Uh, it it's cheap to run it these days. Uh, okay. Hmm. Dong dong dong. Leave assignment index out of range. Hmm. Really? 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 Oh, yeah. Of course. Uh, what did I want this to be? Oops. Oops. What I meant is just this times n. How did I have it before? Did I just append? I guess so. Okay. Current reference before assignment. I forget that. Uh, yep, I forget that this should be non-local. The reason why I complain is because I do assign it later. Uh, okay. So this looks okay. Hmm... Yeah, do I want to generate a big test case? I guess so. 
Let's at least do a naive case of. Let's just add this, but add an extra number. Um, I could probably do a, a big case, but I am a little bit lazy. Uh, to generate, you could write some code to generate that code. I think we can play around with it a bit. Um, but and you could even do some random stuff. But it looks okay. Um, and I believe mine is n o of n. So hmm. Yeah, okay, because this is death for search, so yeah. Uh, okay, let's give it a submit and I'll cross my fingers. Because, um, okay, cool. So this is going to be linear time. Uh, this was way more complicated than uh, <laughs> you probably expect it to be. Maybe there's a easier solution, to be honest. I did this in a way funky way. Though I did take a lot of time just thinking through it and making sure that this is okay. But let's go over my solution really quickly and maybe I'll look at the solution. Because even though I don't usually do it, but... I feel like I took way too long on this. Eh. I mean, I I would also say that if this was a contest, I would probably have not tried to prove any of this and just because I think that my intuition is mostly the same. It's just that um, you know what you see is what you get. Um, but yeah. So basically, um, I, I I explained the algorithm in the beginning with the diagrams. I'm not going to explain that again. So I'll just explain the code. Uh, real quick, um, and then it's complexity. But basically, here I construct the edge list. I here I get a leaf, though I don't think it's necessary per se. And then here I just calculate the number of nodes that is on one side of the other or the other side of the edge. Um, maybe you could do this a little bit better. And this is just to kick it off to 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 go through the tree to make this calculation for every node uh, and the edge, every edge that is. Here we get the total distance thing. Um, this is the naive way of doing it. Uh, yeah. Again, this is the total distance of current and this is the number of nodes that got one distance away. Uh, this is the number of nodes that got one distance further away. Um, and then here we just have the answer um, and this formula is kind of what we said basically by moving from node to node you have this relationship and then you can kind of back in a, in a backtracking kind of way you actually could have now that I think about it, you could have put it as the parameter as well uh, maybe that's cleaner to be honest mm, yeah maybe that's cleaner but I, so you can write something like um, you know something like this something like this I, I thought that there may be more complication. That's why I didn't do it live. But um, I think now you can do something like this and then new current. Um, or you can just do something like oops, this and then, yeah. Something like this, I think, will work. Um, yeah, let me give it a quick one real quick. Yeah, so this should be good. Um, so yeah, so maybe this is slightly cleaner if you want thinking about recursion because it doesn't depend on side effects. Um, I was thinking more backtracking, but I wasn't quite sure how the formula would look until I did it, so that's why. But yeah, but basically this is just um, to calculate all of them and then you just, yeah, and this is what we talked about in terms of visualization, but just do it recursively every step of the way. Um, okay. And this is current total distance. Uh, but yeah, so in terms of um, complexity, like I said, I spent a lot of time to make sure that this is O of N, um, and it is O of N, right? Here, here we just go through the edges. Here, as I mentioned, there are only O of N possible inputs because there's only O of N edges. Um, in fact, this is 2N minus 2, I suppose, number of edges. So that could be the only possible inputs. Um, yeah, this is a regular depth first search, so it's going to be O of N. This is also a regular depth first search, noting that this part is uh, cache, so this is O of 1. Um, and here, you know, it's a depth first search, so it's going to be O of N. Um, and of course, this is also just for the same reason. It is just a depth first search again. So this is of n. Um, you could also say v plus g maybe, but in this case, it's a tree. So the e is 
n minus 1, so this is all of n. Uh, in terms of space, you can't get away from stack space, but also edge less, and the results are all O of n, so this is going to be linear space. So yeah, so in the end, this is linear time, linear space. Um, that's all I have for this one. I know that I, I went a little slowly because I wanted to be um, detailed, but let me know what you think. Actually, let me let me check out to see if I miss any obvious, sillier solution. Uh, that would be funny. Sometimes it happens, but, you know, maybe the dot process is helpful as well. Uh, but, yeah. Subtree, sum, and cap. Hmm. I think that's what I was saying to do, but... Hmm. Maybe... Hmm. I think this has... Oh. Actually, I think this is exactly what I did. Uh, maybe I did it in a little bit less straightforward way, but I think I did the same thing. So I don't. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I, mean, I think it's mostly the same, but yeah. Uh, okay. What else do I have to say about this one then? Um, hmm. I think that's it, really. Uh, okay. Happy Saturday. Have a great weekend. Uh, hope to see you in the contest. Come join me on Discord. Uh, to good health, to good mental health. Take care of yourself. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.